Okay, girls, let's get in the house. Okay, girls, get up. Come on, get up. Everybody up. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay, girls, you all ready to hit the road? Okay, let's do it. So I'm just looking at my two uh, swivel chairs here and they're really nice. I really like them. I think they're really, really cool looking. They're fabulous. Uh, remind me back, it's retro, <laughs> the 60s. Anyway, I really like them, but I'm thinking that, you know, I don't need two of them. And one of them is taking up a bit of space. And uh, so what I'm going to do is just remove one of them and uh, look at all that extra space I got in there for putting who knows what in there. I could put uh, plastic tubs down in here or I could put a cupboard in there and that could fit a ton of things. Oh, there's so many, so many options that I can do, but this is a lot more space here. And right now I just need the one chair for myself. That's all I need. Put the other one in storage there and uh, fix this table and we're good to go. That's gonna be great. Look at the extra room the girls are gonna have with their toys and stuff, right baby? Look at this. Look at this, baby. Look. <laughs> More room to play. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. All right. Oh. Well, we're actually getting a bunch of stuff out of the storage room and uh, bringing it over here and getting it all sorted out and arranging it and finding spots for it. Um, we're getting close to getting full here, though, kind of thing. But uh, what we got here is... Uh, Organizing a lot of stuff up top here, uh, getting more tubs and uh, arranging them, putting the tubs together and then sticking them up here and everything storable up here. You see, we got some of our uh, wild foraging stuff there, uh, dehydrating up in there. And we got some more boxes and bags and different containers and stuff of uh, things and stuff from the storage room there. <laughs> Baby thinks uh, she can play everywhere. Um, yeah, even more stuff over here. <laughs> so we're just uh, sorting everything out and uh, trying to get a handle on this, find spots for everything, everything important. What's not important, we're going to get rid of. Yeah. So another thing here too is uh, these chairs here. Uh, oh my gosh, let me move around a bit. I'm going to move this uh, if I can. There we go. These chairs here were... Uh, bolted down into the floor right through the floor it's not in the right spot right now but there's holes in the floor there and these bolts were all uh, dropped in right through the floor but none of them were actually had a nut on the end of them they were just uh, hanging in there and keeping the chairs from moving around kind of thing so obviously i took the bolts out of the other one there to uh and they're all up in here to get that other chair out of them and put that in the storage room but the thing is with these chairs is I realize they're heavy enough on themselves and they got a really nice base on them, nice legs. And they're actually like I drive like an old farmer, so I don't bounce around much. Even on a back road, I take it really easy over bumps and stuff. And uh, oh, I see what she's doing. <laughs> see, I've got another Tigger out of the storage room from one of the buckets there. It's a, I have a couple of tiggers and that, and that one's been hiding in a storage in a box somewhere for a long time. She thinks it's her toy and she wants it. That's not your toy, baby. That's not yours. Yeah. Every time I pull something out and I put it where she can reach it, she wanders off and plays with it. So anyway, yeah. So these chairs, they they're not going to um, move much on themselves. So I just took all the bolts out all together, and the great thing about that is that I can uh, move the chair around when I want. And uh, for the table, let's say, if I want to get that table up and eat on the table, or just move it around so I can sort things out and everything. It's a lot more convenient and everything. And another great thing about it, when I'm sitting down here, and I still haven't fixed that uh, fold-up table there, the leg is still broken, i got to fix that. Um, and, but sitting here, if I want to sit and eat my dinner or ma meals in a comfortable position I just use this chair and I slide it forward like this 
and it's absolutely perfect just perfect right height and everything it's really good on my back and all that kind of stuff so that's really good <laughs> you can't get it over that way baby no <laughs> still look still going after that toy what out, baby yeah so then i just slide her back in place and that and i just move it around shift it wherever i wanted to go and that's perfect excellent lots more space I got a great chair for me to sit in when I fix the table and get around to that. But uh, in the meantime, it, it, it's all coming together and it's working. And, and yeah, it's, uh, it's really great. I just love it. Don't you? Don't you? Do you love it too? Do you love it too? Yeah, you do too. Baby, you can't have that toy. It's not yours. It's not your toy. No. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's get on with things, all right? There is definitely a drastic comparable difference between the tiny house on wheels there and this motorhome. And um, I'm sure you've noticed that already. But it is so much better and I'm just loving it. And right now, as we're getting things organized and stuff on top of that, I've been able to uh, fill my cupboards and everything with food and stuff and everything. This is mostly a spice and condiment kind of thing but they got a little bit of everything in there sort of deal but that is full up and one thing that just stokes me is uh my freezer is still pretty full right there full of meat and that's going to last us a couple of weeks at least if not more but the fridge is full we've got lots of food in there got places to you know a place to store all our food and that um compared like i said to the tiny house on wheels and that so we've got that yeah and uh, up here we've got more stuff up here filling it up with all sorts of stuff kitchen stuff and everything there we are and coffee tea and all sorts of good stuff and crackers and everything up in there yeah we're just stuffing our cupboards full of stuff here which is just an amazing amazing difference to the tiny house there yeah i've got a lot more room to store stuff and uh a lot easier to handle with the uh, with the um, groceries and stuff, pots and pans, and some soap for dishes. <laughs> yeah, but we've definitely got a lot more room here for uh, all the food stuffs and everything. Got more stuff down in there. Yeah, lots of it in there, and then of course all these drawers for all the whatever we need. Just an amazing, amazing difference between the tiny house and this motorhome and there the girl's playing with her toys there and look at the space around here yeah this is just a, an amazing and drastic comparable difference to the tiny house isn't it tiny house on wheels yeah this is fantastic yep all right we definitely got some more stuff to do so let's get on with it right baby right <laughs> throw me my toy dad and speaking of the uh, tiny house on wheels um, this motor home is proving to be a lot more convenient than everything in so many ways. Like I'm not really stuck in one spot kind of thing a lot of the times. So I'm going to hook the trailer up and unhook it and park it and everything like that. Move back and forth and just kind of feel stuck in one spot a lot. And with the motor home, uh, you know, I'm not doing that anymore. I just, uh, you know, I can go where I want when I want and for whatever reason basically. And it's uh, really a lot cooler that way. Um, so right now, what we're doing here is we're actually just uh, parked here in the parking lot of Twisted Hills Cider Cider Orchard Place. <laughs> they got a huge orchard, and then uh, like everyone around here, pretty much has a huge orchard. But Twisted Hills. Uh, craft cider and uh they got a really cool sign out here with a flatbed the old beat up flatbed truck here with the uh, cider barrels on it and stuff organic craft cider yeah great place i just like it because it's got a really cool uh shape uh, dome a geodesic dome kind of thing uh shape to it it looks really cool twisted hills i might go in there and check it out after but for right now, we're just, uh, I just pulled in here because, you know, I'm tired of being in one spot a lot and uh, just move around just for something to do. So what we're going to sit here, i got a couple things i got to do with my uh, uh, editing, editing some videos and stuff. 
And then uh, right after that, I'm probably going to sit here and just cook us dinner right here in the parking lot. And uh, I won't be crashing here, sleeping here. It'd be kind of a little bit rude, I think. I don't know, unless I ask permission, but I don't really want to. But uh, yeah, we're just going to chill out here. This is a good place to stop and park. And we're going to uh, make our dinner here and uh, do that. And uh, after I'm, I might look inside and see what's going on. I don't drink anymore, so it really doesn't matter to me. I don't care about, you know, any uh, uh, wineries or uh, cider factories or anything like that. But yeah, just a so huge advantage over the uh, tiny house on wheels. But anyway, yeah, like I said, we're going to make our dinner here probably. And uh, then after that, you know, after we've eaten, we'll probably just cruise down the road and find another place to park for the night. And uh just uh, keep moving around and around and around. <laughs> and it's so much more handy than a tiny house on here. So, anyway, we'll catch you on the flip side. Ciao for now. Well, unfortunately, my microphone crapped out again. But we have been invited inside to be able to go film inside and show you around inside the uh, cider uh, manufacturer. First of all, I wanted to check, show you the architecture and the design inside this place. It is really beautiful. I think it's just fantastic. They've got what looks like a balcony up there, but uh, there's no staircases up there at all. <laughs> it's just a beautiful place inside here, wouldn't you say? Okay, let's check out some of the ciders here. They definitely have a great variety of the uh, alcohol ciders. They have cherry cider, they have plum cider, they have apple cider, pear cider, and peach cider. Um, yeah, just a huge selection of, uh, of uh, blended ciders. It's just fantastic. Now these cans up here, these are alcohol ciders. That's alcohol cider, that one and that one as well. Now these ones down on the bottom here, these are actually non-alcohol cider, zero percent alcohol in them. And these bottles here, I love these bottles with the re, um, resealable caps and everything like that. And I think I'm going to pick up a couple of those before I leave here. They have t-shirts and hats here you can purchase. And on the top shelf there, they have their award-winning products that they've won awards with over the years. And here they have the tasting bar where you can sample any of their many products. And on the shelf and counter there, they have their fortified products that are similar to liqueurs and ports and things made from apple and pear. Very delicious. And right here they have their tasting menu where you can sample any one of their many, many, many wonderful products here. And that even includes the non-alcoholic uh, sparkling ciders there which I'm going to try out real soon here. Okay, so let's give you another awesome panoramic view of the inside of this place and the beautiful architecture and the design and everything. It's just fantastic. It looks gorgeous in here. I can't say enough good things about this place. It's, it's really wonderful. Anyway, I forgot my wallet outside, so let's go get my wallet and purchase some products here. So I de decided to get uh, two of these bottles. Of, uh, I really like the bottles because they have this resealable cap. See, I took them, took the cap off like uh, with the bottle opener. And they got the resealable caps, which I like because you can use them for vinegar or salad dressing or anything down the road, keep them in your fridge and that. But anyway, I was uh, dying to try these, and it's actually really not expensive at all, uh, really affordable, and uh, so and the fact that it's non-alcoholic is perfect to me. And so I'm dying to try these out. Now I've got my little uh, shot glass here. It's actually got a skull <laughs> inside. The skull is inside the glass, and I just have a thing for skulls and that. So this is going to be excellent. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. Ooh, fizzy, fizzy, really fizzy. It's lightly petulant. 
fizz, not not big fizzes like uh, club soda. Mm. Wow, that is really really good. Very good, strong apple flavor and the pear. You can I can taste both apple and pear, and it uh, pear is really really well together. Oh, absolutely delicious. Mmm, that was fantastic. I am going to thoroughly enjoy these. And it's a great alternative to drinking alcohol. <laughs> I'm laughing because baby's in the back there playing with her toy and messing about and having fun. And the angel's just staring at us. <laughs> this is great. I'm going to throw the one in the fridge and save it for much later. And uh, enjoy this one, some, some more of this one today and uh, seal it off and save the rest of it for later. Awesome. I love this stuff. Oh my gosh. That is so, so very good. I can definitely taste the apple and definitely taste the pear. Wow, it's just amazing. Amazing blend in my mouth. <laughs> it's awesome. Mm. Definitely going to thoroughly enjoy that for sure. Mm -hmm. i 